basically his full name was Christian <coughs> Johann Heinrich Heine. He was born on December 1797, on 13, in Dusseldorf, Germany, into a Jewish family. His parents were Piera and Samson Heine. No? He was the oldest of four. He converted into the, the Protestantism, yeah, from being Jewish because uh, basically they passed a law basically saying where the Jewish couldn't study anymore. So he changed his religion so that way he could finish his studies. And he got married to a lady named Matilda in 1841. And his uncle, he was working for his uncle uh, when he was 18, and his uncle didn't basically want him working for him anymore, so he sent him off to a university in Bonn where he studied law. And after a year, he went to another university, um, Boddington, Boddington, and basically he got suspended from that university because he dueled with another student. Mm. So his uncle sent him off to Berlin to study law again, which he hated. And basically, after that, he moved to Lundberg, where his family moved, so he could go back to study to Goddington after a year in Berlin, after two years in Berlin. And uh, he wrote The Homecoming. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I couldn't find how to pronounce it the German way. But basically, uh, after he took a break from school and he took a trip to the Hans Mountain, and that's where he wrote Die Hard. What is it? The Dar Die Hard. I can't pronounce this word. But basically, that was about his time in the mountains. He, he basically wrote a lot about his traveling. Uh, his inspiration was for the philosopher Hegel. And he wrote the Lorelei, which was basically about a mermaid that stood on a rock, uh, singing to sailors to their death, and sinking their vessels near the rock where she sat. And, yeah, that's the poem. Should that be sounding? Yeah. Pause it. Probably have to do two things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not really good. There you go. It's a little better. Ich weiß nicht, was soll das bedeuten, dass ich so traurig bin. Ein Märchen aus uralten Zeiten, das kommt mir nicht aus dem Sinn. Die Luft ist cool und es dunkelt und ruhig fließt er rein. Der Gipfel des Berges funkelt im Abendsonnenschein. Die schönste Jungfrau sitzt dort oben wunderbar. Ihr goldenes Geschmeide blitzet, sie kämmt ihr goldenes Haar. Sie kämmt es mit goldenem Karma und singt ein Lied dabei. Das hat eine wundersame, gewaltige Melodie. Mm. Den Schiffer in kleinen Schiffer ergreift es 